Let's milk the word and get the meat out of it. Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, somebody left me a note in the comment section saying they really like the reading of the word because it helps them understand. So I'm going to try to read and explain in a way that makes it a lot clearer. A lot of things we don't see in the word, little hidden meanings, little hidden mysteries, hidden uh, descriptions and analogies that we don't even recognize. And I want to bring them out, see how much we can milk this word. Let's see what we can get out of it. All right, we're going to start in the beginning. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let's stop there. Now let's go back to verse 2. I love this verse because a lot of people don't think about what this, the, the full ramification of this verse. When you have God in your life, there's a level of creation that you can't even fathom. When the Bible says God makes a way where there is no way, here it is right here. And the earth was without form. That means it wasn't round like a ball. It wasn't square. It wasn't flat. It had no form. It was not. It was just an idea in God's mind. The earth was without form and void. There was nothing in it, nothing on it. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Pretty much the earth was a big thing of darkness. Hmm. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So there must have been gases and vapors. Picture that. Do you know when something is without form and void, all God has to do is speak something into your life and there's a solution where humanly speaking, there was no solution. God can create a solution at the spur of the moment. God can create an answer. God can send people to bring you the help that never was there in the first place. I remember years ago when I was looking for a hair salon. I was walking up the block to see if there were any businesses open that had a building for lease. Right around the corner in prime real estate. Business booming. No vacancies. And that was my dream spot. I always wanted to have a shop there. Nothing. So what did I do? I walked in the different businesses that were there and asked them if they knew of any vacancies coming up. One woman said yes. So I stood in her shop while she talked. She had a, a boutique. And I forget, it was something Chateau, I forget what. But anyway, she was very sweet. She was a little short Italian lady and we were talking and she was telling me that she was going to have to give up her business. In two weeks, she was closing because it just wasn't doing it for her. And she didn't have any more money to keep throwing in it. And I said, wow, that's too bad. Now, I wasn't thinking about me taking over her shop at the time. I could see the hurt in her eyes. And as we talked, I said, I always wanted a spot up here where I could have a hair salon. And she said, wow, really? She said, I always had a dream of having a combination salon and boutique. And I folded my arms and I said, really now? And she looked at the sparkle in my eye and she got a sparkle in her eye. And we hit the same conclusion at the exact same moment, and we both thought about it and said, hmm, could be, who knows? Are you game? And we talked for a while. 
and we got to know each other a little bit. I it shared with her how God was on my side. She shared with me how she loved her business, but finances were not on her side. So we discussed the possibility of splitting the rent. I'm just sharing these little testimonies to back up what the word is saying. See, when God wants to create a way where there is no way, there may be no form. It may be void of answers, void of solutions, but God always has a solution. And I'm going to share with you why this applies, because God spoke this to me. So she and I are talking, we're sharing, and she says, let me talk to my husband. And I said, let me talk to the Lord and we'll get back together and see if they both are in agreement. And if there's agreement on all sides, we'll go for it. And she said, okay, talk to you in a few days. Sure enough, we set up the, at the time to talk. We hooked up. As I was leaving, I got to share this because this is the key note about this scripture. As I was leaving the salon, this really got me. As I, as I was leaving her boutique, let's get it straight, and going down back around the corner to my salon that they were selling. That's why I knew I had to leave. They're selling the property. So I'm going back to my salon. And as I'm going down the hill to walk toward my shop, the Lord is quoting this scripture to me. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be. All oh, that hit me like a ton of bricks. I said, Lord, you made a way where there is no way. I knew right then it was a done deal. I knew it. I knew it. And within a day, less than 30 hours, within a day, a day and a half, she called me. Her name was Fiamma. She called me. And she said, I got the green light. What, what light did you get? And I said, mine is bright green, baby. And we just went for it. So we we talked about all the arrangements and how where we were going to put what and how and all that. And next thing you know, God just started moving people in place. People I couldn't, normally I would have had to have hired a professional plumber that would have cost thousands. No, nope. the Lord sent a guy from church who did plumbing all his life in Jamaica. And he did it for me like pennies on the dollar. <laughs> and what was funny was he was sitting right in front of my shop when I was asking God, who am I going to get to do all this work for me? He was sitting right there. When I'm telling you, when God puts something together, all the props are being placed right in, I mean, right within your disposal, right within your reach. There was nothing there a minute ago, and now everything that you need is right within reach. That's the way God does. That's the way God makes something out of nothing. 